Section 2.2, an introduction to problem solving. So what that means, it's an introduction to being able to apply what you know to applications, word problems. So our first objective is writing and simplifying algebraic expressions. When you have a word problem, these four steps will kind of help you break it down to understand how to translate it from English to math language. General strategy for problem solving. The first thing you want to do is understand. You want to understand the problem. We want to read and reread read it. Propose a solution. Construct a drawing. So if it's like a asking about triangles or like a yard, it's always good to draw because we like to see what we're doing. And then choose a variable to represent the unknown. So what, anytime it's, they're asking for like a number or, uh, you know, um, how many was this or whatever that's unknown you could use any type of variable usually we use x the second thing we want to do is translate the problem into an equation solve it and then interpret the results make sure that it makes sense that we got those answers so for our first example twice a number plus three is the same as the number minus six so let's break it down twice a number so twice means two that means two times when you do something twice you do it two times a number right anytime it's just a number we don't know what it is so we're gonna say that's X so when we have twice a number that's two times x or 2x moving on so plus 3 plus 3 you know plus means to add so plus 3 is plus 3 is the same as so is the same as uh, when you think of something's the same something's equal you guys are equal uh, you know two sides of the equation are equal so is the same as means equal sign the number minus six so the number so just like before the number that means x and then minus 6 is when we subtract 6 so let's put everything together we have twice a number so twice a number is 2x plus 3 so we know plus 3 <clears throat> is the same as so it's equals the number minus 6 so the number minus 6 I just wanted to underline where we got everything, where it came from, and how we put it together. So now we can go ahead and solve this just like before um, in 2.1. So we want to get x's on one side, numbers on one side. So we're going to subtract x. So we're left with x. plus 3 equals negative 6 we're gonna subtract 3 so we have x equals negative 9 so you know you could make sure you're right plug it in and um, make sure that it's correct but I ensure you it is all right moving on example 2 the product of twice a number and 3 is the same as the difference of 5 times the number and 3 fourths find the number so just like before we're gonna break it down <clears throat> the product 
of twice a number. So we know product is multiplication. So the product of twice a number, so we just went over that, twice a number is 2x. n3. So we want the product of whatever twice a number n3 is. So the n3, that's just 3. Is the same as so is the same as, just like before, is equals five times the number, so we don't know the number, it's x, so 5 times that. The difference, so the same as the difference, so it's the same as the difference of 5 times the number and three-fourths. So that's where the three-fourths is going to go. So now let's put everything together. We have 2x times 3 is 6x equals 5x minus 3 over 4. We're going to subtract 5x. So we get x equals negative 3 over 4. Alright, example 3. The measure of the second angle of a triangle is twice the measure of the smallest angle. The measure of the third angle of the triangle is three times the measure of the smallest angle. Find the measure of angles. So first, we want to know what are we working with. Well, we're working with Three tri or uh, three angles because how many angles are in a triangle? Three. So we have angle one, angle two, and angle three. So the measure of the second angle is twice the measure of the smallest angle. Do we know the smallest angle? No, we don't know it. It's x. Then it says the second one is twice the smallest one. So twice is 2x. And then it says the third angle is three times the smallest one. So that's 3x. And just in case you can't remember, The sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So the sum mean we're going to add them all up and it's going to equal 180. So we have x plus 2x plus 3x equals 180 degrees. So we get 6x equals 180 degrees. Divide by 6. So we get x is 30 degrees. Now. It's not asking what x is, it's asking what the measure of the angles are. So we have to plug them back in into x, 2x, and 3x. So the measure, the measure of angle 1 is 30 degrees. The measure of angle 2, so that's 2 times 30, is 60 degrees. And then the measure of angle 3 is 3 times 30, which is 90 degrees, and we get a 30, 60, 90 triangle. You might remember that from geometry. You might not. All right, that's it for this section. Next section we're going to go over is 2.3.